I think until we know more about what's happening here in Solano County, it's best just to stay away from crowds and be extra careful. And I think that anyone, the elderly or anyone who's ill or, or children should stay away from crowds, certainly, until we find out what's happening. The fact that it, if somebody got the coronavirus who hadn't traveled anywhere is very concerning. Being this close is the scariest, it's the scariest thing in the world for me right now because it's only 15 minutes from Vacaville from here. So you can mean to me, I can go to Vacaville and, and, and I have to be more careful. It's just, it's a scary situation to know that I can sit around and touch something and, and, and somebody could have been there and they had that virus and then all of a sudden I'm, I'm contaminated. I saw it on the news this morning. I didn't watch the news last night and I'm like, oh my gosh, now I'm really worried. Well, I feel like I, after the news today, like I shouldn't even be out of the house, honestly, but that's not really a practical thing. <laughs> um, but I wash my hands all the time anyways. I'm very careful. So as much a change in my habits, probably not one to be out in public as much. I, I think more should have been done in the beginning before this even happened to be able to have things in place to be able to prevent this type of a problem like sanitation methods, even banks should be sanitizing everything that comes in and goes out before it's even left. If you don't have regulations and protocols in place to prevent these problems, it can become a humongous disaster, a pandemic at this point almost. Uh, I don't hear, like I say, I was with a whole group of ladies yesterday and I don't think anybody's freaking out about it or doing anything. Um, differently, you know, we're making our plans to, you know, keep doing what, you know, what we're doing and yeah, I